So here's the layout for the fuel pump. Really simple to follow. You're basically going to cap the output sides of the fuel intakes and each one of them will get their own individual feed line. And that's the layout for the uh, fuel pump. Very easy to follow. The uh, overall fuel system, here's a layout of that. It's a little bit more complicated. The PTO center and magneto, those are the location of the carburetors. So magneto is going to be the front, the center is going to be the center, and the PTO side is going to be the rear carburetor. So that's how the fuel pump or the uh, fuel system is laid out. So I ended up trimming these top two uh, shorter tubes. Those are fuel return tubes. Clamp those on. And then I still have to install the clamps in the other one, but the longer one goes towards the front. The longer tube goes towards the front, medium length one goes in the middle, and then the short one goes at the back. Those are going to plug into three outputs, which are the top three, one, two, three, on the uh, fuel pump, and then the one with the arrow in, that's your intake. So fuel from the gas tank goes there. This is your vacuum, which attach, attaches to the crankcase, which is on the bottom of the engine, and then those three are your outputs for your individual carburetors. After you install the carburetors, make sure you install those six gaskets underneath with that metal sheet. There's your fuel lines. All three of them ran to the back. Then you got to install your choke and your throttle cables. Make sure your throttle cable stays in that groove that the cable slides in. And then with your choke, there's a screw on the side. Don't drop it. Don't lose it. And uh, you're going to tighten down that screw onto the choke cable. After all that's lined up, next I'm going to